Bosserman Marine Services here at Clearwater Harbor Marina. Absolutely gorgeous marina. You can see this is a picture of it. And this is the marina. Clearwater Bridge. Working on a head system today. Replacing a three-way valve. And clearing a vent line. Since it is a vacuum flush, if you overfill your holding tank and introduce waste or water into the vent line, it can act as a check valve. So he was pressurizing his holding tank and the air had nowhere to go. So that's the situation today. It's, it's a pretty nice boat. And I gotta do the thing here because I don't feel like waiting on the Harbor Master to get me in and out. All right, we're in. Beautiful marina. A lot of money floating here. A lot of fun. So I just thought I'd show you my office today. No walls, no windows. Tender. This is their dinghy, which is called a tender. But look, he's got LED lights all around it, underneath it. Very nice. It's a beautiful day here in Tampa Bay. It's what, December? And I've got a light jacket on. Not a very good hiding day. We have no water, so there's no separation in, in uh, the waves. So they'll just pound you to death. And this is the poopy pump out station. So boats just pull up here and they use this nozzle to suck. Basically, a big vacuum. Here, you can see some spoil islands. They're kind of fun to bump up on. There's a series of them, about six or seven of them. Pontoon boats. Nice concrete dock. Normally these concrete docks don't work out too good. So I'm going to be working on, which is called a Cruiser Inc. And I'll go ahead and let you walk on board with me. That's the vessel right there. Unusual decking, kind of a rubberized decking. You can see the tan or brown decking. Hatteras. When it's rough outside, it's a Hatteras kind of day. But this is the uh, Cruiser Inc. Let me kick off my shoes real quick. And these lines want to trip me, so. You can see the rubberized flooring. Kind of feels good on your feet.
Oh, all right, didn't trip me. So this is the stern, wraparound seat. That's where I came in. Little refrigerator, cabinets, the helm. First mate and captain's chair. Looking out the bow. And this is the cabin. So we'll walk down these three steps. You can see I've got my tools and that's the actual holding tank here. That round disc is a sending unit. It's basically just a float that floats up and down and gives you empty, mid, and full. And you can see my vent line right there, which runs all the way around under here where the VG2 or VG4 is right here. Might be a VG2. And you can see the Sealand filter there. Mounted almost vertical, and all the sea land hose, but with blue writing. This is the galley, or the aft of the boat. This is the galley, domestic refrigerator, only 115 volts. So if he wants to keep that up and running, he's got to run his generator when he's out in the boat. And then moving over here is the head which is huge. It really is a big head system or big head room. And this is the vacuum flush toilet. And this is a shower compartment. Doesn't matter if anything gets wet in here. It does have a drain. And we'll move to the main cabin. Pretty nice. Nice little bed. TV. Pretty spacious. It's a good floor layout. I guess that's why I'm really recording it because Cruiser Inks really have a nice cabin. So that's the vessel. And this is what I'm working on today. So I'm going to clear that vent line. Then I'm going to come over here. And remove and replace that three-way valve. They're the crappiest valves. It's gray and they love to freeze and you can't turn it right now so I'm gonna have to use a heat gun to get these Sealand hoses off and then reinstall a brand new valve. All right well thanks for watching this is Bosserman Marine Services our phone number here is 727-521-1385. We handle air conditioning, refrigeration, head systems, practically anything on board, except for your engines. So if I can give you verbal help, just give us a call. We'll be more than glad to. Or if you need me to come out and service your vessel, one call to do it all. Once again, thanks for watching.